Hello beautiful people and welcome. In today's video, we are going to review parallel lines and perpendicular lines. So for parallel lines, we are talking about the slope intercept form specifically. And just a reminder what that is. Here is your form of a line. So this is an equation of line. The M represents the slope. The B represents the Y intercept. So parallel lines are lines that never touch, never cross. And the reason that they never touch, never cross is because of this wonderful thing called slope. The slope of parallel lines are the same. And that's super duper 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 important to remember. That's the slope of parallel lines are the same. Now, that means the number in front of x, if it is the same, that means you have parallel lines. So let's do an example. Let's say you have y equals 3x plus 4 and y equals 3x plus 8. Because the number in front of your x's are the same, that means that you have parallel lines. Now notice that your y-intercept, the number after x, these are different. And that is okay, different y-intercept. And that's okay, you actually kind of want uh, a different y-intercept because if these two numbers are the same and these two numbers are the same, that your lines wouldn't be parallel, your line would be the same. You'd have the same line two times. So we don't want the same line. We want a different line. However, we want the lines never to touch, never to cross or intersect. So you want the slope to be the same. So you want the number in front of x to be the same. And it doesn't matter what these two numbers are. So if you see two numbers that are the same, that is in front of x, that means your lines are parallel. So for example here, we have a line of y equals 1 half x plus 1. And we want to write an equation for a line that's parallel to it. So if a line is parallel to it, that means the number in front, this 1 half, has to be the same. Now what about the number after it? Well, the number after it doesn't matter. It truly doesn't matter. So let's do minus 3. Let's do negative 3. So how would we graph this? Let me rewrite it just a little bit better. Let's do y equals 1 half x minus 3 instead of plus. I'm, because I have a plus a ne negative, plus a minus, I'm going to remove that plus and just keep it a minus. So how do we graph this? We're going to graph this by taking your, let me change colors, by taking your y-intercept. That means you have a point at 0, comma, negative 3. So 0, comma, negative 3 is right here. Your slope is one half, and that means you're going to go up and over one half. So you're going to go up one, and you're going to go to the right two. Why is it up and right? Because we have a positive slope. We have a positive one, we have a positive two. So I'm here, I'm going to go up one, and I'm going to jump two jumps over two. So that gives me a slope here. It gives me a point there, excuse me, and then let's connect it using a ruler or a straight edge. If you don't have a ruler, uh, just simply use a line or a, like a sheet of paper that you can fold to make it a little bit of a thicker edge. And so when you draw the line, you're going to notice that these lines, because they have the same slope, they will not intersect. 